This is a Minecraft survival world that I've had for over three years. Today, I'm going to add to it a panda hotel. My name is Biblimeo. Welcome to BLY. Very long. Yep. Very long. It's been a very, very long time since I last made an episode of BLY. Lately, I've been playing hardcore survival. I had to change up my Minecraft, you know? Keep it fresh, keep challenging myself. Well, if you wanna see what hardcore's been like for me, you can. It's all right there on my channel. Today, I make my return to the city of Dakara. I'm standing here on the nether roof. Dakara's just on the other side of that portal. And yes, all you smarty pants listening along wondering, are those pandas I hear in the background? He must have pandas somewhere nearby. Why has he got pandas on the nether roof? Well, there they are, look at them. These pandas have come a long way, but they're not ready to go into the city yet. At least, I'm not ready to take them to the city and deal with them there while I still gotta finish their panda hotel. And I'm not even supposed to show them to you this early in the episode. So, we're not ready for that part of the video, and they're not ready to go to the city, and I'm not ready either. You see, where we left off BLY, the scientists of the city were researching the odd happenings going on around town, which is how the mayor discovered I was living in the city sewers next to some old crusty power generators. And that's why the mayor decided to blame me for the city's strange occurrences and ban me from my own power station base. So I made an underground pirate radio station to rebel against the mayor and expose the truth. But before I could make any progress, the city was invaded by a floating army of mysterious giant cubes. And those cubes are causing a little bit of lag, some framiness. So I'm afraid as soon as I step through that portal, my PC is gonna struggle a bit, but we have to do it. So... Okay, not bad so far. Oop, there's a little. And there's some more. We're making our way to the marina district. And here's my power station, my base, with all my stuff. If I go in there, I gotta be sneaky, cause the mayor set up his goons to stalk the place. Yes, we're making our way to the marina district, because I was up late one night thinking about all the mobs I had living in the city so far, and I remembered this poor, lonely camel. They're the only one here. So I planned to go looking for camels today, but then it dawned on me, there's another mob that I've completely neglected. One that I haven't even laid eyes on in this world. That's right, pandas. I thought I could bring pandas to the city and make them a place in Dakara to live. And I know the perfect place. This skyscraper I built that I love so much, it's gonna be perfect as my new panda hotel. Who? Okay. Now, the skyscraper I built years ago, before I even had my YouTube channel, that was when I was still really learning a lot about building, and since I was unpracticed so much back then, I never really finished the inside of this building. I didn't know what I was doing to do so very well, so I just never got around to it. Though I gotta say, even after all this time, I am still really happy with the outside of it. There's a skyscraper in Chicago, the CNA Center, that inspired me to make this. Apparently they call it Big Red. I don't know who calls it that. I'm not from Chicago. I don't know if they actually call it that in Chicago, but I guess I would call it that because it is big and red. So Big Red's a pretty good name for it. And Big Red here is now gonna be the home of our Panda Hotel. And I've got an idea that I've yet to reveal to you for another business that I think will fit nicely in the lower floors. Okay, I'm ready to get started. I've got my pandas just about all the way here, except these giant floating cubes are really annoying. Okay, it seems I can just dig into it. Uh, oh my. All right, that took way too long to destroy. You know, TNT might work better. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Oh yeah, TNT better. 
I've taken out a few of the cubes closest to the hotel, so that should hopefully make my game run a little smoother now. If not, I will just have to remove some more as I go. Now, the Panda Hotel. The worst feature about this build so far, I've already made so far, is the way it just hits the ground. It looks like it's been cut off at the ankles. All this barely landscaped terrain, no plaza, no proper entryway into the hotel, no connection to the street even. <clears throat> so first things first, I definitely want to make this prettier. This whole area where the skyscraper meets the ground and the street. I think I'll make some steps here. And here, a nice plaza that gradually steps up to the main entrance. Yes, yes. And around the back. Back here. Oh, this is so awkward the way this looks. I don't know what exactly I'm going to do with this, but it's going to look a lot better when I'm done with it. Now for the inside. The lobby is not bad. The colors are already sort of panda-y, but this orange stripe has got to go. I might just replace it with some more of the terracotta stuff. Yeah, that looks pretty good, for now at least. Oh, that orange was hurting my eyes. And then up a floor. You go up one floor. Uh, kind of an awkward elevator here. Probably going to redo that as well. Now on the second floor here, you can see I actually combined two floors. So we have the super tall ceiling in this room. This won't be the hotel, this floor. This will be a different business that also occupies the big red tower. I kind of did that here before. I, I put a business in here, but it's not, it's, uh, it's very vague. I, I don't like any of this. All this interior that I put here before, is making me really depressed. You know, that probably has something to do with why I never finished any of the other floors. Well, once it's all cleared out, this is a really lovely space. I can do a lot of things in here, and whatever it will be, it will be better than what it was before. So, you enter into the lobby, and you go up one floor to get to this business, which I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. You'll have to keep watching to find that out. And from this level, up one more floor, and this will be the first floor of hotel rooms. And up one more, another floor, and up again to the top floor. So I've got a lot of space to work with inside this building now. It looks really unfinished. It actually kind of looks, I think it kind of looks cool like this. It's giving, uh, it's giving me empty warehouse feelings. Yeah. No, 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 we're not doing that. We're making a hotel. But this is good mental, psychovisual imagination fuel. This is good. This is good. Good to know for a future project in the city somewhere. And of course, our panda hotel interior will not be complete without pandas. So earlier, I had to go out looking until I found pandas, which turns out, is one of the hardest things to do in Minecraft. I made it. Bamboo jungle. The nearest one to Dakara. Oh, it's so much nicer not being near those floating cubes. Okay, I'm not cheating. I've got the boxes around the mobs turned on. The hitboxes. It's in the game. You know, F3B. Yeah, this is stuff you guys already know. So it should be a lot easier now to spot a panda in all this jungly mess. Oh man. Oh, this place is thick. I'm stuck. Please someone help me. I'm out. I'm in the clear. Still no pandas. Is that? Uh, a panda? No, just a sheep. A black and white sheep in the jungle just to troll me into thinking panda when there ain't no panda. Ooh, what a pretty sky. It's a panda. Can you believe it? Whoa. Uh, uh. <laughs> He's a happy guy. Whoa, okay, okay. I have to put you on a lead. Come here. What? What? This doesn't work. I'm clicking on the panda, but apparently they don't accept leads. Oh no. Maybe I have to tame them first. Here you go, buddy. Eat it up. Oh my God, that is the most adorable thing I've ever seen. This lead still doesn't seem to work on him. All right, I'll just have to boat him for now. Hey, where you going? Gotcha, little buddy. 
Okay, coordinates. Gotta remember those because I'm coming back for you after I go find another one. Need at least one more panda. And I found a few more. Look at the little baby one. What are they all looking at over there? All right, we've made some progress on the hotel. The outside is looking a whole lot better and that's making me feel quite relieved. We've got a better lobby and a better elevator. That last one I made was so bad. Remember here in the city when we constructed this streetcar line and made these lovely green streetcars to go with it? Well, that streetcar has got to be owned by somebody and that company needs a headquarters somewhere. And that's what I've gone ahead and installed here on the second floor. It's the Transit Authority of Dakara. This is where they dispatch streetcar drivers, where they plan the routes, where they have meetings with city officials, and where citizens and passengers come to voice their opinions. It's the headquarters of the, of the streetcar company. So we've got a boardroom area for those high-powered, important meetings. And we have a map of the Transit Authority streetcar lines in this room along with a staging area where engineers and planners can gather around and talk about new streetcar lines they want to add to the city. And here is my favorite room, the dispatch room. And this is a big old telephone switchboard. This bamboo block works great for showing all those little sockets that you would see on a switchboard. And I've done the old chicken on a lead trick here to make these phone cables that come out of the switchboard. I would show you the chicken, but I don't want to risk letting those chickens out again. It's so hard to get them to sit still. This room is where dispatch agents of the Transit Authority sit all day, plugging lines into the switchboard, making calls, branching calls between streetcar drivers and the main office. This room is the heart of the operation. The work that goes on here is what keeps the Transit Authority running safely and on time. Isn't that nice? Let's go see the pandas. Look how cute these guys look when they're inside a bamboo raft. It's like they're standing on a little mat made for them to stand on. This grumpy looking guy is the hotel doorman. I think that's a fitting job for him. I name him Bear. Here in the lobby are some loose pandas. They can't escape this room, so I've got them here roaming free. This is also where I can come in the future to conveniently breed a baby panda should I ever need one. Now up the elevator, oh wait. We have to check in at the lobby desk. Okay, up the elevator. Here's the first floor of rooms. Not much to see here, it's just the hallway leading to the rooms. And here's what the rooms on this floor look like. Each one has a panda to keep you company. Or maybe the pandas are the guests at this hotel. Or maybe they live here all the time? I don't know. But there's a panda in each room. They're cute, it's a fun gimmick. Okay, next floor up. Things are a little bit different on the second floor, and we're getting better views of the city the higher we go. But the final floor is the penthouse. All right, it's right behind this door. Welcome to Panda Heaven. Isn't it glorious, modern, luxurious? Who wouldn't want this? A big old comfy bed, a flat screen, now, none of the rooms have bathrooms. That's because the pandas get scared by the sound of flushing toilets and running water. So yeah, but uh, isn't this place great? I love it. Oh, I'm so excited to be back in the city. All right, so last episode I had an announcement to make that I didn't get to make because these giant box in the sky things appeared, but I want to make it now. I am announcing a big project that I think is going to take the next few episodes to complete. I am nervous about this because I still don't have a full plan for it, but I'm also excited. This building, well, 
this face of a building. I've got to do something about it. It's been here from the beginning, sitting here unfinished, stinking up the place in every one of my videos, and I'm ashamed of it. No, not really. I just haven't made a real plan for what I want to do with it. But I've been coming up with some things, some ideas, and I'm ready to tackle it. I'm sure you can tell, sort of, what it's going to be when it's done. A university. But in its current state, it ain't nothing. It won't be long, though, before we have our university. And then this will be our university district of the city. To go along with the marina district and the entertainment district and all the other neighborhoods of Dakara we've worked on so far. Well, that's it. That's the announcement. I'm going to be focusing on this bad boy for a while and keeping the hardcore world going with Match Trick, that too, and cleaning up all of this. I hope you'll join me for all those adventures coming soon, and I hope you've enjoyed what we did today. Please leave me a like if you did. It always helps more than you know. And let me know what you think in the comments, or just say hi. Please also subscribe to the channel. I'm going crazy over here with these videos, and you don't want to miss out on them. And with that, I will see you in the next one.